Oh, I'm excited. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding Wise of Grievers. We're doing Lost Runs today. Look, I uh, I had my little victory lap around the house. I said hello to Kate, and I said, Kate, guess what I did? Here's our, our first seed. I'm not going to write down any more than this. We have to do this again, doing Boss Rush, hilariously enough. I don't know. I'm going to maybe try to do Boss Rush on its own run, because that's a lot of pressure, you know? Uh, and I, I had my little victory lap, and I went around, and I bragged about... How we did, and I said, I'm the greatest Isaac player of all time. Everybody else can, you know, suck my fumes. And I procrastinated. I procrastinated uh, coming back and, and recording this episode because I know the odds of us getting two successful lost runs in a row are fucking zero. They're not literally absolute zero. The temperature of your mother's frozen lasagna, but they are uh, quite low, you know? We're not playing, uh, we're not playing Isaac. The odds of winning two runs in a row as Isaac, or as Judas, or as Azazel are not necessarily that great. The odds of winning two runs in the row, in, in the row? Two runs in a row as the Lost are not, not very good. And this time we have to go to the Dark Room. To be honest with you, I don't necessarily think going to the Dark Room is any harder than going to the uh, the chest, which is not it's not meant to be like empowering needlessly. More like um, you know, we we still we need what we needed, if that makes sense. You know, we we needed holy mantle or nine lives or one up or just absurd damage and then great confidence and focus. And that's that's how that last one ended up working. We didn't get those items we needed. We did get stupidly strong. Like I'll give you that one straight up. That was one of the most powerful runs I've ever had, and it needed to be because we couldn't get hit. Um, but I would very much enjoy just like a little bit of peace of mind on this run. If you could perhaps find it in your heart game to give me like a single good defensive item. Now that's not fair because I did, I did get Book of Shadows. I just didn't pick it up because I would have had to fight all the bosses. But still. Skinny Odd Mushroom I think is a good pickup. Not a, uh, a run winner for sure. That's how you know I didn't plan this seed. Unless we get like a Joker card and then immediately get nine lives. Then you can call that into suspicion a little bit more. And it's easy to remember, it's easy to forget I should say, that um, probably... Oh man, I wish I had knock on into this room. But maybe we can get Shoop the Whoop. Probably the only reason we were able to win the last run is because we didn't end up fighting the haunt on the first floor. Which means there's only one way to go. There's only one way to one-up what I just did, and that is to... Uh, to fight the haunts on this floor. Don't break, thank you. And win. And maybe do boss rush mode in the meantime, but uh, this envy room is like anti-boss rush. I have never paid closer attention to the inner mechanics of an envy fight as I will right now. We are gonna, this is gonna be fucking surgical, all right? We are gonna be a little laser taking out these tiny little envy splotches. And if it, it's gonna be as slow as it takes. I feel I feel amazing right now. I can't lie to you. My confidence is is through the roof. And not cockiness either. Cockiness is unfounded. That that sounds like the cockiest shit you could ever say. But like, we we did it. We did something I didn't think I'd be able to do on the last run. And we did it first. It wasn't my first run ever as the lost. I did some on stream, but this is my first run ever of it for YouTube, and I'm extremely happy with the results. I'll, no one will ever be able to take that one away from me, and that feels good. Um, that being said, it's not going to mean all that much, or it's not going to mean as much, let's say, because it's still nice, you know. It's not going to mean as much if we uh, take 50 runs to try to beat the, the dark room, right? We want to get this done as soon as possible. Now, the way that we do that is hopefully we get a good deal with the devil on the next floor. Apart from that, it's pretty much just don't get hit. Ever. And if you can just not get hit, ever, then life's good. Um, that's, that's the strategy that we ended up employing on the last floor. All stats up. You know, we don't get the benefit of the uh, HP upgrade, but uh, we already have a tears upgrade. It feels like an all stats upgrade can't be bad, you know? We're not going to go into that curse room. Easy to forget. That curse rooms are are either fatal or run winning. Okay, that was not good, but we didn't get hit. It's it's hard to get used to it, man. You can't even get hit once. Judas can get hit once, typically, you know. Oh, what is this? Passage rune. We should use it right away, I think. Just see if we get a black market. 
It's not a black market. Run away forever. You should be... I was gonna say, one of you has to be fucking dead. I know there's champions. I mean, we are on hard mode here. That's the other thing, is I easily forgot that we were on hard mode during this whole endeavor, which is kind of hilarious, but... Our item room. Bum friends. I can't help but think that that'll probably get me in more trouble than it's worth. Puberty's not a terrible trinket, I guess. Or a terrible, uh... Okay, that could have killed me. I didn't realize you were shrewd enough to jump over the gap there. Alright, well at least that wounded him. Otherwise this guy can be the most annoying piece of shit in the whole game. In a way though, it's almost freeing. To just not have the ability to take any damage, you know? It's like, how much damage do you do you bank on taking on this floor? Fucking zero. You can take zero damage. You get hit, you're dead. That's it. Unless, we get nine lives. Again, I will be shooting tinted rocks. Or blowing up tinted rocks. Not to, uh... You know what? Maybe I won't be looking at tinted rocks. Maybe I'll be going for secret rooms instead. Because getting a one-up or something like that would be so meaningful. Yeah, let's go for... The, if we only have one bomb, I think it's probably better to try for secret rooms with items. And now we got two bombs, so... Uh, I think the way that I'm probably gonna spend these is maybe, uh... One here. Spirit heart we can't use. That's okay. It shit happens. No enemies, huh? Let's open this golden chest. It's a lot of money. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna open the shop with 15 cents. You know, if we can get something like red candle, that would give us a pretty good start. Uh, I have to feel like probably we're better off with broken stopwatch than we are with nuns habit. It it hurts me to do that, but I do feel like if we can't get hit, broken stopwatch could help out a lot. Oh. Then the enemies started moving very quickly. All right, we're gonna restart here. Let's check out this room. This is where it all begins, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna die on our way out of here. So I'm just gonna restart this one as well, and we'll we'll start again. And we'll my my plan for these if uh, things went terribly wrong. By the way, I will tolerate very little backseat gaming on a character where one mistake uh, ends up getting you killed because it's annoying. Okay. Let's. I don't want to curse of the loss. Let's restart here. I can deal with this. Seller one. Let's get started. I feel better about this now. Okay. Yeah, that was it, I don't think the I don't think the stopwatch got us killed, to be honest with you. I know that might sound like it's convenient thinking, but uh, I think my inability to react got me in trouble. And then the mullabooms rushed me down. Of course, when I was trying to unlock the lost, mullabooms just never showed up. But then um, as soon as you get the lost, mullabooms are going to be your worst fucking nightmare. Now. This is okay. We expect stuff like this is going to happen from time to time. We racked up a lot of losses in quick succession, and that's okay. What do you expect is going to happen, you know? Character where you can't get hit at all. I'm still feeling very good. Feeling confident. Feeling uh, feeling strong. Feeling like my Isaac skills are at the, the pinnacle of where they've ever been. And that's exciting. The important thing to remember, you know, you're not immortal. You're not a god. You took damage. It happens, you know? You're just a, just a regular old uh, human being here. Don't really want anything to do with that. And we're fighting Pin, which is the best case scenario. Ah, uh, maybe. You might be able to argue that the Widow is a little easier. I find that Pin is easier, easier to avoid, but the Widow is easier to kill quickly. Whenever I take damage against Pin, it's usually just due to, like, a lack of focus. Whenever I take damage against the Widow, it's like, you know, there, there's a lot of shit on the screen sometimes. That's okay. We are going to go to our item room here. Item rooms are like the most important thing. If we can just get Holy Mantle out of one of those. Or we can get a Black Market that could give us Holy Mantle. We can get a deal with the Angel that could give us Holy Mantle. <clears throat> I've gotten I've gotten a Holy Mantle. Many different circumstances there. That was me losing focus, by the way, and almost getting hit by a pin. It, it happens, man. This is good. Trinkets. Good trinkets. Mom's Toenail is not that good trinket. Amnesia. Not really what I was looking for. No, 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 no. You don't understand. You got to get dropped. I would never forgive myself if I died doing that. Well, essentially, Wheel of Fortune got turned into another key. I don't think that's probably what it had, you know, lined up for itself as a great life. But that's okay. What's done is done. And really, like my my only um, my only to do list for me. Is just stay calm, you know, stay cool, recognize that you're gonna die. 
Yeah, it'll be a little kaleidoscope of disaster here. Maybe you can fit in like seven or eight runs if they all go south pretty quickly. And if it takes seven or eight runs, it takes seven or eight runs. I'll be here. What run would possibly make me want to do boss rush? I'll tell you what my ideal boss rush composition is. It's um, Algiz rune, the one that gives you in invincibility for like 30 seconds and exceptionally high damage. If that happened, started the salt starting to rise a little bit. I'm thinking, you know, why don't we restart a couple of times and just put ourselves in a position where, okay, if there's a curse room ever next to me, I'm gonna open it right away to try to get nine lives or teleport. Um, if not, I'm gonna restart just a couple of times here. I'd really like to start with either a curse room or um, an item room next to me. Some of these could be mir miraculous runs here. We'd never know. Okay, here's our item rooms. This is the one we're going to stick with for now, just to save us a little bit of time. You never know, deck of cards could be okay. Hanged Man, not really the most useful card in the deck, I'd say. Why do we end up on the cellar so much? So, so much. By the way, the Lost Runs are not going to become a, a typical staple, I think. Once they're done, I think they're going to be done. Uh, I have no desire to become, you know, one of the world's... Oh, God. One of the world's marquee lost players or anything like that. I just want to I wanna do my time. Well, tell you what. We'll probably restart that one. This is the first time I've ever successfully snaked my way through those. Well, Black Candle, unfortunately, will kill us. So, let's restart. Can we get a basement where this, the curse room's right next to us? We could also, like, teleport to the boss room. Like, the devil room. Full health, wonderful. That's that's a funny joke. All right, let's try this again. All righty. Once we go into that curse room, we're invested, you know. Okay, seller XL. I'm gonna try it because this is a uh, quick access to deal with the devil. Two item rooms without requiring keys. God, I hate this fucking room. Get out of here. They take so much HP. Spawn enemies that take two hits each. Explode into more spiders. Just like, get over yourself, goodbye, you know? Seriously. And don't get back into this five pin bowling lane of disaster here. I'm on to you, mister. Get dead! Oh my, Lanta, thank you, okay. Well, we've halved the rate at which spiders will spawn now, theoretically, mathematically. If I had a bomb, I'd be dropping that like it's hot, like it's a Pharrell plus Snoop Dogg track. I thought it was feral. Isn't it feral? Like a feral, like a wildcat. Uh, like a man raised by wolves. It's not. It's feral. Sir, look at this. Look at this. This is our first room on the Lost Run. Telepills. Hey, bombs are key. That's really useful right now. Oh, and then we're gonna do this one, okay. I like you right now, game. How about this? How about a room that has like five flies on it? And how about those flies shoot fucking laser beams from their fucking heads? How would you feel about that? Oh, it sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty, yeah, you better, you know, skitter scatter goes my heart here. Again, with the hottest broken social scene references on YouTube. Look, I'm gonna need you to take a big step backwards and then fuck your own face, please. This is getting re ridiculous. Actually landed like four shots in there. It should only be uh, 96,000 more. Until he actually dies. Leech. Leech is not very good. But it does mean uh, that if... You know, we, desperate times call for desperate measures. If there's a rock or something, we can just hang out over it and let Leech do our dirty work for us. I don't really want to do that, though. Let's see what this item is. Uh, Loki's Horns. Definite nominee for worst item that does the coolest thing. Blue Famine. Look, how sweet would it be if we got, like, 4th level Meat Boy on the same run where we beat the, the Dark Room as the Lost. I'm not suggesting that this is likely. Just suggesting that it would be baller as heck. And I don't know if you can really deny that. That's good stuff. Okay. You know what, Leech? You handle your shit right now. I'll be over here. What? Okay, P 
piercing shots are good enough for me to not kill myself on the curse room trying to find nine lives. I'll show you the seed here so you can check and see if nine lives is inside the um, is inside the uh, curse room. If it is, just lie to me. Tell me it would have killed me, please. Piercing shots is good though. I'll recognize, by the way, that I've been playing pretty poorly. Uh, that's all right. We did have that first run that was pretty solid, but you know, I think the the first run might have given the perception that perhaps the lost was not a bunch of bullshit. When in actuality, the lost is a bunch of bullshit. Uh, bombs, bombs would be lovely here. Look at all these like stone chests here. I would love to take advantage of those stone chests. Okay, okay, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's there, it's good. Keys. I remember those. You can use those for important things. Now, this will be the run where we fight the haunt, for sure. But I, I can take it, man. I think I need a little bit, you know, I need, like, harder competition so that I can improve myself as well. I know I, that's, like, an easy cop-out, but, you know, I, I want to be, have to be on edge the whole time. Remember what I said in the last episode, that these episodes are probably largely going to become Northern Lion Spouts bullshit for, for hours. So get ready for that. Oh, you know what? Uh -huh. I was like, we could probably use Bob's Rod and Head to get that other stone chest. Might want to hold off on that one for a little bit. What a gross lip smacking sound. I apologize. Now. Uh, I've, I've, I've bunged this up. Something fierce. Kill the, the dingleberries. Once the dingleberries are dead, then... There you go. Yeah, that's exactly what you want to have happen there. You pierce him, pierce him. If he were an airport, I would want it to be Lester B. Pierce him, International Airport located in Toronto, Ontario. Oh. Bombs. Okay. Well, we're going to be careful. Ish. As we slowly move our way back here. And we're going to blow up that other stone chest. Because there are all sorts of beautiful bounties that could be obtained therein. Good. Decent. This room often hurts me, but we, we made it out this time. I You could not tempt me in a million years to go faster than this. I am so happy taking my fucking time. It's a black market. Holy mantle. Black market deals should be free. It's not a real black market. It's just got a chest on it, but that could be Holy Mantle. It's a pill. That could take us to Holy Mantle. Bombs are key. Eh, it's okay. Ooh, Man, that could have been so much better, but that's okay. Because we got piercing shots. You know who loves piercing shots? I fucking love piercing shots. That's why I'm talking about them all the time. Okay? Just use your head before you ask a question like that. My God. I'm sorry, person I made up. That was a very rude way to have a discussion. I kind of baited you into that one, and I apologize, okay? I'm sorry. I'm ready. Oh, that was almost terrible. That was good. Pin is uh, one of the perfect bosses to fight if you have piercing shots. It's like Pin and Larry Jr. right at the top of the pops right there. Oh. <sighs> Oh, don't be scared, homie. Don't be scared. Well, you know what? I think a little bit of fear is actually helpful. I was uh, I was quite anxious during that first lost run, and it worked. It helped, at least. I'm uh, I'm less anxious now. I'm more relaxed, which is probably good. But we still got to make it happen, you know. Okay, we made it to the second floor. This is important. Secret rooms. I think secret rooms are so useful for us. The odds of us getting like one up are not good, or Ankh for that matter, are not good, but um, not gonna find them unless you go to those secret rooms, probably. The odds of just winning this run aren't good. It's really, you're playing a numbers game. Well, you're playing an, an indie game, but there's numbers in it occasionally. I can see a few on the screen right now. Maybe a secret room here? No secret room there, that's okay. Perhaps a secret room over in this generalized region. Yeah, that's enough money to make our uh, shop theoretically worthwhile. You know, would I pick up the hourglass again? That's a very good question. I think for now, we're going to say 9 volt. 
And I know we should donate. People say, like, hey, the lost runs are a lot easier once you get to 999 and unlock that item. I can't take Firemind. I'm sorry. I love it. I do. I don't love that. Um, Firemind is uh, an almost must-have. Well, not must-have, but, like, must-take item when it shows up. But we're in that almost situation. If one hit throughout this entirety of this run will kill us, we can't go with Firemind. It's just, it's not worth the damage for the, the risk, unfortunately. Fistula. Well, uh, again, piercing shots versus fistula seems like a pretty decent combo for us. That was not a good Bob's Rod and Head charge, but in a way, that might be the best thing for us. We don't have spectral tears, by the way, which is why I can't like hide out over a rock and just like do nothing else, or like just, like just shoot forever. Um, we are taking it slow here. I'd like to get like all silkworms as soon as possible, because silkworms are a little bit more predictable. Usually, usually. Oh, I almost got hit there. I almost dodged back into one that I thought I killed. Okay, we're gonna get our first deal with the devil in a long time. I'm excited. What do you got for me? Please be good. Brimstone. Brimstone. Not Krampus. Guppy's Collar. Okay. Well, in a way, Guppy's Collar is pretty good because I think there still is that 50% chance we come back to life. I think we just got to go to the next floor. No point in farming this one. There's a 50% chance we come back to life. And they're really digging in with those curse rooms, huh? If we became Guppy, I don't. I still don't love our chances. But uh, if we became Guppy with nine lives, I'd start to feel pretty good about the things that theoretically could happen on this run. Now remember, you still can't get hit. There is a small, slightly beyond theoretical chance that you could uh, live if you get hit. Do you want to tempt fate? I don't want to tempt fate. You might want to tempt fate. I don't want to tempt fate myself, personally. We're still not doing enough damage to, to play chicken with these guys, so don't be a hero here. Samson's Lock. Why not, right? Every time we get hit, we'll gain a little bit of extra damage. Oh, wait. Hate those guys. Hate that guy. Yep, okay. I feel like our chances of winning grow like exponentially the further you get into the game. That's probably like a really dangerous attitude to have. But you can understand my sentiment there. Maybe. Spider Babby. Spider Babby's pretty good. But it, I think I'm starting to realize that Spider Babby might not give you spiders when you kill enemies. It might give you spiders when you get hit, which doesn't really benefit us at all. Pretty Fly is pretty good. I think we need to take 48-hour uh, energy with us if we get something like Book of Shadows. You know, we're hoping for that. Which we just did. And and actually, I know I said Book of Shadows, but we're going to go with Book of uh, Belial. At least for this floor. Why? Because um, Book of Belial gives us... Oh man, with Book of Shadows, we could actually get into this curse room and get out. We gotta try, right? So you Book of Shadows in. Open the red chest. It's a bomb! My great plan? Mitigated by the fact that this is a freaking bomb. Okay, but we did it anyway. That feels good. We're gonna take Book of Belial. What are you doing, you crazy person? Don't take Book of Belial. Take Book of, Sh Book of uh, Shadows. You need invincibility to live, you dumb asshole. That's, that's what I imagine some people out there are thinking right now, maybe even with more colorful language. Book of Belial gives us the deals with the devil. I can't have Book of Shadows active at all times as much as I would very much love to and... Rest assured- Oh! Guppy's Collar! The dream is real! Okay. Okay. We take Book of Shadows into the room preceding the boss room. The other thing we do is just pop Book of Belial and then take Book of Shadows with us, but that would only give us one deal with the devil. I want one more deal with the devil. I want more than one deal with the devil. Explode. Explode. You gotta explode. You gotta give me some space here. Look, that was not very confidence inducing. You gotta beat this boss without getting hit. This is probably gonna be the last run. 
I could. Are you telling me I could use Book of Shadows every two rooms? Man, okay, I think we, here's how we do it. I think we use Book of Belial on this boss room. To get the deal with the devil. Okay, Mega Maw is not, not super easy. Oh, Jesus. Don't dodge into the fire by accident. I want to put the fire out, but it's not easy to set that up. This will, oh, Gubby's Collar, Gubby's Collar. Oh, God, we lived. Okay, um, well, we've used Book of Belial, so we're guaranteed to get the deal with the devil. I think we're going to take Book of Shadows with us. This is not shaping up very well. Look, let's just be honest here. Um, I think we're going to use Book of, <laughs> Book of Shadows, and we're just going to place like a fuck ton of bombs around him. And th hopefully that'll get him down to the point. Oh, we're, we're running out of invincibility. Is it meant to be? Is it meant to be? Oh, we did it. Okay. No deal with the devil. We use Book of Belial, though. Okay, I, I have to take Book of Belial. There's no way around it. Maybe I have to be holding it to get the deal with the devil, in which case it should be open when I come back here. Um, maybe you don't have to use it. You just have to be holding it. I have to take Book of Belial for the nine lives option. I can't use like this shitty, or not nine lives, but the deal with the devil items in general. I can't just live like this. There's no deal with the devil here. Maybe there's a battery involved in this location here. There is. I know that mom's key could be so good for us, but. Okay, I'm gonna like walk in here, pop this. Uh, you wanna talk about desperation? That's desperation right there. We're gonna head down to the next floor. I'm amazed to still be alive. Might have made some mistakes on that floor, admittedly, but we're, st we're still here. Red chest. Golden chest. That could have been very deadly for me. What can we get on the... Oh my god. I need a speed upgrade, man. What can we get on the arcade? That would uh, save the day? Nothing at all of value? Sounds about right. My best friend, that is not good enough. I will blow both of you up. That was uh, an incredible use of company resources. Now we have no bombs left to get to secret rooms. Oh, I don't like this. They, those guys, they can jump over chasms. I did not know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that until just now. I'm displeased with that knowledge. I, I, I liked the world better before I knew that that could be a possibility. And I'm not happy with what you're telling me now. If you could just come up here, senor. Senor. Thank you. Okay. One key. Are we going to fight the fucking... No, we can't. I, I can't. Fuck this room, though. Yeah, that's right. Take the long way home, motherfuckers. You're in trouble, mister. Don't even shoot at me. I'll be mad. I'll be mad. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. I'm... I apologize for being so quiet. You gotta understand, I'm... You know, I've been a little worn down over the result of several uh, lost runs here. This is by far the furthest we've ever gotten. Thank you, by the way, to RN Jesus and Guppy's Collar, without whom we would not be here right now. This is a great room for us. All I can really do now is live and get the deal with the devil. There is a not insignificant possibility we get nine lives mom's knife or nine lives brimstone or, you know, nine lives death's touch. Nine lives anything would give me such incredible peace of mind. The thing that's shitty about it is that I won't know how many lives I have because Guppy's collar will proc sometimes. But the answer will be more than nine, hopefully. As long as, uh, you know, RNG Jesus doesn't completely turn his back on us, we should get at least one Guppy's, uh, Guppy's collar charge. I hate this room with our low speed. But thank you for finding the secret room. Oh, if there's a one-up in here. 
I will fart in my own mouth on camera. Please don't actually be a one-up now. Oh, good God. <laughs> Thank you. Chariot, so good. You know what? A lot of people might disagree with that. I walked into that room, and it didn't feel right. I thought to myself, I, um, you know, I don't feel good about this room. I'm going to pop the chariot card. I felt a lot safer after I did it. Shit's going to happen like that. I was wondering if that was going to be explosive diarrhea. I don't like this room either. Just too many bullets flying. Okay, good. He's dead. It's very simple. We killed the fat man. <laughs> I don't mean to offend anybody. Just thought it was some semi-clever wordplay. You'd probably stress eat a little bit too if you didn't have a fucking face. Alright. This is one of the best draws we could hope for. It doesn't mean that it's automatically good for us. But you can't hope for much better than, than the husk if you're trying not to take damage. Oh, the siren scared the shit out of me. We're alive. We got a damage upgrade and a deal with the devil. No Krampus. It's fucking Krampus. Step one. That's where the game has begun. It's, uh, do, 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 do. Um, we're gonna put it. Step one is put out the fires. In case you were wondering what I was actually th talking about when I said step one. Putting out the fires makes our arena substantially larger. This isn't the end of the world. It's just the end of our dream on this floor. So how do we do this? Now. We get a lump of coal. And after getting lump of coal, our damage has improved ever so slightly. Almost dodged right into that. Uh, and our damage having improved ever so slightly gives us a fast ticket towards success on the next floor. <laughs> Please hit. Thank you. It is lump of coal. Um, that was a little bit of an exaggeration saying it gave us a fast track to success. Um... We haven't been to our shop. I don't think we need to go to our shop, to be honest with you. I think we just need to go down to the next floor. Uh, we haven't taken any deals with the devil. Which, in my brain, means that we have a realistic chance of getting a deal with the angel. Which means we have an okay chance of getting, dare I say, holy mantle. I was gonna. This can't last forever. We're eventually going to have to fight some enemies. I need these guys to move. And when they, when they move, we're going to sneak behind these rocks, and then we're going to fire some shots. This is not going to be fast, and it's not going to be fun, but we're going to live. Well, where is he? I don't know. Must have just been the wind. Oh, no! Well, that's going to do it for this Lost Run. I'm probably going to do some normal runs for a while, decompress a little bit, but it was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.